Of course, one sure way to hold on to staff is to feed them well, because like all of us, their stomachs are the way to their hearts. Here's a recipe for Asian-style beef from TV Red, MLA's red meat promotion video that's shown in hundreds of participating butcher shops Australia-wide. Asian braised beef. We're going to take a nice piece of bola that's MSA graded for tenderness. We're going to seal it and then put it in a casserole with some Asian master stock. To seal the beef, I'm using peanut oil instead of olive oil. Peanut oil has a neutral flavour. Don't forget to use a really hot pan when you're sealing and seal all over the meat. This ensures that the juices are retained with inside the meat. What we're looking for when we seal the meat is a really nice brown crust all over. This will enhance the flavour of the meat. Once the beef is sealed all over, we'll put it in a nice little casserole dish. This is more like an Asian slow cooking hot pot if you like. What I've got here is an Asian master stock. I've got some ketchup manna, some light soy sauce, ginger, garlic, star anise and some cinnamon quills. It's been simmering for about half an hour just to reduce it and get the flavours in there. We'll just pour that over the beef and then pop it in the oven. I'm just going to pop that in the oven at 160 degrees for around an hour and a half to two hours. Our Asian beef has been in the oven for an hour and a half. We've then let it rest for 15 minutes just to get the juices flowing back again. We're going to serve the beef with some Japanese soba noodles and some steamed bok choy. Because the beef's in a piece, we'll just slice a piece off and then put some sauce on. Remember, don't cut the beef too thin. A little bit thicker, it's more juicy and tender when you're eating it. Place that on the noodles and then spoon around some of the sauce that was cooked in. Just going to garnish this with some coriander leaves and some sliced chilli.